Hey guys, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Uh, last episode, we bought the bear in the cave and uh, barely, barely managed to kill it uh, with fire. <laughs> kill it with fire, literally. Um, after we killed the bear, uh, we got to talk to Pearly's spirit. Pearly is um, the gentleman who was killed by the bear. We learned about it in, I think, our third episode um, when we first found Naunton. And... He said that Pearly had been killed by the bear, but we found out that Naunton actually injured Pearly so that he would be killed by the bear. So right now we are outside Ingrowid's house. Ingrowid is Pearly's wife, and we're going to go in and confront Naunton and Ingrowid and see what the hell they have to say for themselves. Because why would you do that to your buddy? Good day, stranger. Hello again, Ingrowid smiles. I hope Gilded Vale has been kind to you. I know what really happened in that bear cave, Naunton. I don't know what you mean. I told you the truth of it. Are you accusing him of something? If this is about the accident, we're both grieving Pearly's loss, but it was a wild animal's doing. I don't think you are, guys. What would, you, what would make you suggest such a thing? I had a vision in the cave. I saw Pearly's last moments as he lived them. I saw you cut him with a knife. Why did you do it? He was your friend. Um. Yeah, let's go to number one. That's, that's not possible. How could you possibly know? I left no sign. Wow, man. Nonton, wait. I don't know what you saw in that cave, but this isn't what you think. Pearly, my husband, he was as much a beast as that bear. I tried to leave the first time I suffered his temper, but he wouldn't have it. Naunton, he... we met, and I knew I'd found someone special, someone kind, who cared for me. Please, all we want is to leave this place, to start somewhere else. We... we've some coins saved up. You could have it. If only you'll let us go. Um... Keep the money, use it to start your knife. I don't need your coin, go get out of my life. Whatever your reasons, he caused the man's death. I'm taking this to the magistrate. Um, I'm not that lawful. So, I'm not going to take it to the magistrate. I don't want to outright attack them. <sighs> I don't need your coin. Go, get out of my sight. Yes, we will. Thank you. Thank you for your compassion. Let's go, Naunton. We have a long way ahead of us. I probably could have totally made a different decision with that, but they were buds. So what did that update? So there isn't anything else that I need to do for them. So other things that we've got going on, um, Alfra, who is Kalisha's sister, wants us to go to Enslog's Compass and speak to Mother Ranga. Uh, the blacksmith at the Gilded Vale is worried about his wagon of supplies. I know that if we go and do this quest, of course, we're going to get some bonuses for taking care of stuff for him. And then the old watcher. Now, this is our main quest. Um, wants us to go to Cave Nua, where I will find the man named Merwald. Keldara has informed me that I have become something known as a watcher and that this Merwald is a watcher as well. Perhaps he can tell me more about what's happening to me. So, I'm trying to figure out where I should go next. So I'm here. Cade Nua is this way. There was also... Does it say where ants logs? Whatever it is says, no. The Black Meadow, Easter Road. So, towards Kaidnua. So, I guess we'll just head east. Now, something else that I need to check as well. Um, I need to check and see if there are any potions or anything that I can make. If there are any ingredients or anything that I can buy. Um, so, that being the case, I also need to check out this temple. I haven't been to the temple yet. But we're going to head back to the inn real quick. Um, 
just so that I can see if there are any supplies or anything I need. This tree just still creeps me out. It's so gross. So gross. I still love that hat. I'm never going to get over that hat. Right, Pesca. I'd like to know more about the Black Hound. Really? Well, let me see. The actual building's been here for years, but the Black Hound's fairly new. We get a lot of new faces in here, too. Fewer than we used to, I'll admit. Ten for the, the big draw. I'm sure we'll get the big crowds back again in no time. I used to work the tables, actually, until the old owner up and left. Nobody's sure what happened to him. Even left his poor hound behind. That's the name. See? The Black Hound? It's still sitting upstairs, pining after him. Poor old girl place ended up in my hands somehow. My very own end. A lot of hard work involved, but it's been worth it so far. Please, sit where you like. Would you like a drink or a room? We have two available at the moment. I'm afraid I can't offer much by the way of a good meal today, unless you're fond of cold porridge. Let me see what you have for sale. Alright, so I'm already full up on camping supplies. I know that. Um... Let's buy one of these. I also have a bunch of stuff I can probably sell, um, which will help. Bear hide. Actually, I think I'll keep the bear hide. I might be able to use it in some kind of crafting. Rapier. I'm gonna hold on to the rapier. Scrawled letter. That was the guy at the tower. Let's see what's in our stash that we can sell. We got a whole bunch of stuff. How about we sell um, four of our five bows? Dagger. <laughs> I mean, I have all this stuff I'm never gonna use. And I know that there are gonna be other companions and that sort of thing. Um. But all of these multiples of items and that sort of thing, not wholly necessary. All right, so yeah, if I do it like this, I only have to pay 185 copper, and I can get all three of those potions. And I'm sure I can sell some of this other stuff to get some money back. Or possibly get something else. Because neither Aloth nor I need any of this right now. And this loot has been so often to come by killing humanoid creatures and that sort of thing. I don't imagine I will particularly have any other kind of problem. Okay. Um... Plus two constitution, plus one perception, plus five max. How? Ooh. For 150 seconds. Endurance constitution perception. Endurance my perception. Endurance constitution. Rabbitai sweet pie. This is the recipe that that cook gave us. Endurance and dexterity. Um, yeah, we'll buy that too. Food and that sort of thing is really handy to have in our quick items, especially in combat. Alright. I'm really enjoying this, like, in music. It's really catchy. Okay, I want to go back up before I leave and check on that dog again. Now that my character knows that she's a watcher, maybe... There will be something else about that dog, because I feel like there's a quest line there. My RPG senses are tingling. Hey, puppy dog. Tell 
Tom stares intently at the covered window. Sorry, girl, I don't think he's coming back. Well, you can come with me. Maybe we'll find him on the way. Do I have a doggy friend? Oh my god, do I have a doggy friend? The dog is in my inventory. I have a dog in my inventory. I'm not entirely sure how to handle this revelation. How do I split? Oh, that went into my stash, didn't it? How do I split a stack? Oh, this is annoying. Alright, I'll figure that out later. I totally took that dog with me. I regret nothing. Do you guys say anything different now that I know that I'm a watcher? No, that's the same story I read last time. Okay. This town doesn't have much, so I can't prepare but so much. I definitely don't want to stay here any longer than I need to. Tell me, O Controllist, do you tell me how to split a stack? Nope. I've tried shift click, I've tried control click, I've tried right click. Ah, uh, shift click puts it back in my stash. Well, I guess. I'll take the potions and you can take the cookies for right now and I'll figure out how to split them later. Road east. Oh wait, you know what? instead of going east let's go into this temple because this is the only place that I haven't gone yet. And then we'll go east and we'll find uh, that caravan for the blacksmith. Oh. Wretched beasts. Wharton. A man lies resting against the wall lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeves soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near his features twisted with pain. Have a care if you mean to go in. This place is not so empty as I thought. The temple isn't what it used to be, probably for the best, times being as they are. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. No one of, Not one of the faithful either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm caught up for it. Maybe you have better luck. Better luck with what? These ruins around us used to be a temple of Aethys, the scattered god. A grand temple at that. His worshippers would come from all over the direwood. From right, Reed Saris, even. Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones. The ones that couldn't get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. Go on. Once the legacy started, Lord Redrick decided he'd been too lenient on the Eothasians. He had his people go in and put them down to the sword. And put them to the sword. Left them down here, buried under a heap of rock. After that, Roderick ordered the temple sealed. It's been years like that, up until recently. Lord Roderick hopes that if we rededicate the temple to a living god, then we'll be forgiven and the legacy will end, see? 
But until then, the temple is as you see it, unguarded. That's where you come in. Those priests. Maybe they didn't have a lick of sense between them, but they still didn't deserve to go like that. Chopped down in their god's house. Doesn't sit right with me. If you can get down there, find the remains. Maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. No small task. There's coin in it for you if you need motivating. Aloth. Pleasant surprise to see someone around here has a shred of respect for the dead. Yeah. Considering the tree up above this temple. Let's see. I'll find them. I take it you aren't supposed to be in here. They're long dead. What does it matter where they're buried? Wait, you want me to bring you some skeletons? I have some questions first. Not interested. I have some questions first, Broham. Why can't you do this yourself? Well, I tried. Only got a short ways in before I go in over my head. I haven't raised a blade in a long time. Turns out it isn't something you can just pick up again. But you look like you can handle yourself. Let's see. Who are you anyway? Won't Lord Radrick mind us digging around down there? Any chance something down there? Or a little more than some old bones? I have no more questions. Who are you? Name's Wharton. I lived in Gilded Vale long enough to remember how grand it used to be. I used to help the temple sometimes, bring supplies, that's all. Won't Lord, Rad Lord Radrick mind us digging around? I wouldn't go telling him about it. Lingering in these places, it's no good for anyone. But you do this quick and quiet, and we can do right by those priests without raising a fuss. Any chance of some treasure man? Probably. Nobody's been through the place since it was sealed up, well, apart from me, and I didn't touch anything. Any valuables in there? You get first crack at them. I only ask that you do this favor for me while you're at it. I have no more questions. Then what do you say? Wait, you want me to bring you some skeletons? I'd bury them where they are if they could. I know it's a little macabre. But if we don't get them out right now, Redrick's liable to destroy whatever is left of them. Why does it matter where they're buried? It's it's about respect, isn't it? About deserving to be remembered, not just tossed under a pile of rock and forgotten. I thought it worth the eth effort giving that to them. Yeah, okay. I'll find them. Then by the flame, I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long, it's crawling with creatures. But if you get past them, the priest would have been down on the lower floor. They'll be there still, if they're anywhere. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers, switches in the walls, trick sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out, and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your remains. You might talk to that Aider fellow, if Radrick hasn't hanged him yet. Word is he's a follower of the dead god. Maybe he'll know something more about this place. He's usually out by the smithy. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up. All right. Well, I know how to take a hint. So before we go venturing off into this spooky temple, which I'm totally up for venturing into, let's go find that guy he just mentioned. That is usually by the smithy, so so we'll go up here. Maybe he's actually in the smithy. Pretty sure I've seen him before. I just have to find him. You're not by the smithy, you're by the temple. The 
The smell of pipe smoke, at once earthy and sweet, winds its way into your nostrils. Your eyes trace the smoke to its origin, where you find a broad man with straw-colored hair leaning against a mossy rock wall, his pipe held to his lips with one meaty hand. He looks you directly in the eye, but the look is not aggressive. He regards you with a peculiar smirk. Seventeen and a half. Well, could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. I'm sorry? The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I think you ought to. Much to talk about, dude. There's the people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. This guy seems kind of important. Is that what you people do for fun around here? Names are there. Out of the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You got the sort that likes to get involved. Hmm. He said his name's Adair, but I'm probably just gonna call him Eater. <laughs> what makes you think I was interested in the dwarf woman? Looks at you a moment, his brow arched, his smirk broadens. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at it. Twice I refilled my cup. Never so much as blink. Mouth was so slack, I took you for a rad with it first. Wow. Do you know what a watcher is? I've been out of sorts lately. Impossible. I don't drool half as much. I'm going with that one. Ha! So you're already familiar. Still, you have to forgive my curiosity. Around here, we prefer to turn a blind eye to our dead. I've been out of sorts lately. Of course, we all got our bad days when we stand perfectly still and st stare at corpses for a while without blinking. <laughs> Do you know what a watcher is? Let's not use that word around here. Any number of Roger bootlickers have been earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here. Roger especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures preying on the desperate. Some of them who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. No offense. <laughs> you think you're gonna be hanged, dude? Sounds had it in for me for a long time now. Only fella who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. The war? Saints War. Only one in my lifetime. Bella decides he's the living incarnation of Aethys. Overthrows Red... Red Saris. Marches on Direwood. So we gave him a Direwood and hello. What's a Direwood and hello? <laughs> I like how just that little snippet had voice acting. We blew him up. Who's Aethys? God of rebirth and redemption. Formerly, anyhow. Maybe they call him something different where you're from. I had other questions, Broham. Why was your headman hanged? Got involved. <laughs> Roderick sent men down here the other day. Said they had it on good authority. Someone in town was working with Kolsk. Plotting Roderick's overthrow. Said if he didn't come forward right then and there, they'd hang every last one of us. No one was coming forward. So, Swithin, that's my headman, he steps up and says it's him. They took him at his word to happen sooner or later if not for plotting against Roderick than for protecting me. What does your town have against you? That's what it comes down to. There used to be a lot of Aethys worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there, there's a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethys. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethys isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethys. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. No. After the war, people took to punishing Aethys worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore, until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Seems that's no longer a concern. 
course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. You can see why I was eager to leave. Who's Kolsk? Someone who got tired of all the hangings. Or it might be Kolsh, because Kolisha's name was spelled very similar to that. Anyway, going with Kolsk. He's on the run now, probably won't be till they catch him. Ooh, maybe he was the owner of Blackhound Inn. Maybe. If you're next to be hanged, what are you still doing here? Drinking, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Point of fact, I'm on my way out, just haven't figured out where I'm going yet. Not a lot of places out there that don't think Widewind's legacy started with Widewind. Farewell. We could travel together! Where are you headed? Some place called Cade Nua. There's an old watcher there who might be able to help me. I even remember hearing something about that years ago. He came that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on his death. A man such as that, there'd be things I'd want to ask him. I don't know why I never thought of it before. I'm not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger, and a strange one at that. But truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. That's a fine reason if I ever heard one. All right then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. <laughs> Let's get going. Cool. Awesome sauce. So I have new friends. What are you, friend? Third level fighter. Good. I have a tank. I need one of those. Alright guys, well I got kind of sidetracked, but I'm actually really excited we got, uh, Eater. <laughs> we got a dare. Uh, we're gonna go down into this temple next episode and explore. Um, I'm actually gonna see, can I talk to him? No, cause he's in my party now. Oh wait, talk to Eater. Yeah, so, um, next episode we're gonna talk to him about this temple and then take him down into the temple, do some exploring, some killing, get some treasure. Uh, hopefully find something neat. And then continue on our way past Gilded Vale. Thanks for watching.